Yes, I'm Frank Piers. I'm a professor of entomology at Colorado State University, which is located in west central United States. Well, I've been working on this problem since 1986 and have watched it go from a, a difficult but manageable problem to a much more sporadic problem where it just becomes a member of the pest complex rather than a key species to be dealt with. Under our conditions, we have always found it to uh, infest only a portion of our acres. So scouting has always been a, uh, a key component of management approaches. Uh, insecticides did uh, serve to buy us time until we could develop more sustainable solutions. And now uh, I'd say our current uh, situation is that we rely on uh, cultural controls and naturally occurring biological controls. And occasionally these will fail us and we will uh, rely on insecticides to, to get things back under control. Uh, biological control uh, initially was really not part of the picture for us, but over about, I'd say, a 20-year period, it eventually uh, assumed greater and greater importance, and now I consider it to be one of the two key factors in determining Russian wheat aphid abundance. I'd say it's uh, primarily biological control plus uh, some modified cultural practices, primarily uh, crop diversification and uh, adjustment of planting dates. Uh, we did uh, use resistant varieties for a time, but uh, the aphid did uh, develop biotypes within 10 years of deploying the first source of resistance. So that's a, a reality that you'll need to uh, deal with. Uh, the aphid uh, can uh, be successful on a variety of cool season grasses. Uh, for us, these are primarily uh, wheat, barley, and many of the wheat grasses, such as western wheatgrass and crested and things like that. And I'm not sure whether those are important species in Australia or not. Greenbridge is a critical part of aphid year-round success. I think the, the most important message that I would have is that this is a manageable problem. There will be some uh, sort of local adjustments for management recommendations, but uh, much of the knowledge that's been developed elsewhere in the world, I think, will be important for your producers as well.